Hi, Sandeep. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? All well. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me in your show. Thank you. I was just giving a intro. Obviously, sab aapko bahut achhe se jante hain. Phir bhi ek chota sa maine intro diya. Mashaallah, you're very, very multi-talented. And uh, God bless. And thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. So, any plans of coming to Dubai anytime soon? Well, actually, there were two, three things I was supposed to come for, but I am a little scared to travel, so I am okay. not doing it uh, as of now. In fact, there was a, something that happened in in uh, Dubai in February, and I was told to come. Something in December, I was told to come, and I okay. didn't go to those events because I think I have my parents with me at home, so I just don't want to take the okay. risk as of now. So it's just better. Safety, safety first, of course. Safety. Of course. Of course. Because things are better if you would like to travel up now. It's, Things have opened up and it's easier, so inshallah uh, soon. How, how are the cases in Dubai? I believe they were rising. Uh, they were raising and now they're dropping back again. Oh, that's nice. That's good. So we're hoping that yeah, event in that space stops back very soon. Yeah, and uh, cinemas have opened up again. So looking forward. But uh, and we would love to host your show here. Like I, I read your bio. I think it's so amazing, and we need to do something like that in Dubai. And we have a big audience for uh, dance, and you know all that in Dubai. People love to participate or join in or just come see the shows. So, so maybe we all should plan something together. It'll be fabulous. Definitely, definitely. Uh, it's on my list, and I want to do something like that with you. Chale, then ask Shuru. All those people who've been asking me questions about you and want to know. Of course, they've been seeing you on TV shows and they've been following you on Insta. So, which questions that I have come up with to ask you? Generic questions about your lifestyle. Sure. So, how did your love for dance actually begin? If I say, "Okay, कहाँ से शुरुआत हुई your journey and your love for the dance?" Well, you know, dance. Uh, I think for everybody's life, dance has a certain phases. So for me, initially when it started, I was like five years old. It was at the army. My father was in the army, so at the army mess, at the army club, they would do all these waltzes, the cha chas, jives, you know, all these uh, ballroom dances. So it started off from there. My first step I remember was with my grandmother at age of five in the dance called foxtrot. So I, the memories are so even fresh even today that it gets me goosebumps because I think those were some amazing uh, time. But when I was hmm. my teenage. You know, it's a it, that that whole uh, thing changed. It was to dance with all the beautiful girls, and let's go party, let's go clubbing. You know, <laughs> so I think phases come in people's life, of and course. so does dance also uh, evolves through phases. In my twenties, when I reached, I felt that dance was not only about clubs. Dance was not about holding women in your arms. Sure. Dance was a lot more than just uh, these frivolous things that I was thinking about. And mm. then studied dancing. When I started reading about my dance that I was doing, when I started researching about dance forms, like traveling around the world trying to understand dance forms, I fell mm. further in love with my art form. So I think it slowly, slowly it evolves, changes. I when I did my PhD, uh, it it made me further think uh, in depth about the history and evolution of my dance. So I think it just uh, with age, with maturity. With mm. uh, the, way, the way you look at dancing, things keep changing. So I I can't pinpoint and say one thing by saying this was the place where it it started. But I would say I think love began at early age, and I'm I'm thankful to my parents who just nourished it and encouraged it even more. I think that's mm. what is most important. Brilliant, brilliant, awesome, and I'm so happy that you took that as a profession and like you. I think you just aced it. There's nothing. I think I, mean, I was reading your bio and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, you know, it just went. Hi and hi, and I'm like, mashallah, the achievement that you've done at such a young age, and you know, so many people look up to you, and so such an inspiration, <laughs> <laughs> and such an inspiration. Seriously, like, wow. Um, so I was reading, and obviously, I um, the the your initiative for dance for a cause. Tell us something more about it that you started this and uh, elaborate on this for the people. It began in 2008. and i'm very happy to tell you that this was the first dance show which got a best opening ever in the world we performed it at the world economic forum in davos in switzerland it mm. was apart from that the best part about it was we had bill, bill clinton sitting and watching the show we had nicholas sarkozy was sitting and watching the show oh. it got the best opening for any dance show ever 
and wow. the theme that we used for dance for a cause that year was save the tiger tiger which is our as india i would say our our national animal and mm. we were talking about how the world should come together and to save our national animal and of wow. course to, to 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 save the animal as well and we had association mm -hmm. of peta we had association of uh, wwf they all came in uh, as our, our supporters so it's got the best opening ever so what we do for dance for a cause basically is every year we pick up a cause okay and we make a dance drama out of it a short dance okay. drama, 10 minutes 20 mm -hmm. minutes 30 minutes maybe depending on what the cause is and right. we perform that particular cause the show all over the world now i have the support of the united nations also i have the, i'm at so many different countries i'm in uh, singapore I'm in, uh, in in Germany, in in England, in of course in America, in a few places in America. Everywhere we are performing dance for a cause. Um, it got the National Excellence Award by the government of India as well. Wow. The government uh, issued a stamp to honor a postage stamp to honor dance for a cause when we finished ten years. So I think mm -hmm. um, it was something I began because I felt that my grandfather once had told my great grandfather once had told a beautiful thing in Hindi. It is. Um, I don't know if uh, the audiences in Dubai would be able to understand. When no, I no, they do. They do very much in Hindi. Hindi. Uh, he had said very interesting thing, which till today is is with me, and because of which I think it, um, you know, I started dance for a cause. He had said hey. that talwar or top, yud jeet sakti hai. Talwar or top, yud jeet sakti hai. Lekin kala or kalam, yud chhed sakti hai. Bilkul. And Bilkul. that is what stayed in my mind forever. That I am a kalakar. I am an artist, and Bilkul. what I can say, what I can do, actually can ignite fire. It can ignite wars. It can ignite things in, in inside people's hearts and minds. And today, in the world, we require so many things. The society requires so much, so much of help from each other. We need to True. stand holding hands rather than fighting with each other. So, if my Bilkul. art can can awaken people. Then why not use it as a right medium? So yes, we are yeah. having shows. We do classes. All that is separate. We do choreography for films. That mm -hmm. becomes more of a uh, a passion turning into profession. But somewhere, sure. as an artist, we need to give back to the society. An artist is a window to the society. And there's so many people, people look forward to the reality hmm. through our art form. And that is Thank what God. Dance for a Cause did. And if we have helped so many different types of causes, be it drug abuse, acid attack, domestic violence, be it animal rights, uh, help the elderly, organ donation, cancer, so AIDS, it's so much, so much, so much, I can't tell you. It's just been every year a new cause, new NGO, a new people. And I fortunately have had support from my, my, my film friends, Ravina, Tiger, uh, Helen, Auntie. They all have come and they all have supported it. And I think that so is brilliant. what makes it even more special because people come and Encourage what we are encourage doing. and support. And the and it just feels wonderful. In fact, wonderful. in 2020, when the lockdown was going on, I was uh, I thought kuch kaam nahi hone wala, but um, the, the Tagore Prize was given. The prestigious Tagore Prize was given to Dance for a Cause, and this news came from Copenhagen in Denmark, saying that uh, Dance for a Cause is being honored with uh, with the Rabindranath Tagore uh, Social Achievement uh, Prize. I think it's one of the best it can ever happen. So wow. I'm really thankful that it's taken these beautiful turns. Totally. And it's so overwhelming. And you know, the way people connect to this and you're helping people out. I think it's just a fabulous thing. That, uh, and like you're saying, different cheese ka putha ke picker, can you do this? I mean, it's very rare you get to see this. I mean, of course, you've seen competitions and stuff, but dance for a cause is just brilliant. And uh, yeah, hope this continues. One of my favorite things, my ex-wife and we started this together by hmm. just keeping one thing in mind. Let's just do it for the dancers, by the dancers. Everybody Very involved good. are dance lovers somewhere or the other in it. Brilliant, mashallah. Awesome. Um, obviously, we'll talk about your show on the radio, Outwist Karen. It was popular. Tha. I think uh, everybody knows about that. And you had massive, you, you received a Guinness Book of uh, a World Record from London U UK certificate for that. So yes, tell us I, more about that. How was actually, that happened. Um, and I'm moving, you know, like from UK. Because I never thought that I'll be able to express through my voice. You know, mm. as dancers, we express through our body language, through our expression and so on and so forth. But using voice, 
to express uh, and to bring out something was something very very new for me and i think i would completely thank radio nasha radio 1 and fever fm all the three channels who put up my show um, on 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 the radio station and we did two seasons for it now in fact i'm starting season 3 next month oh, so we are wow. just um, yeah it's just been something i never expected it to happen and yes it was the most uh, it's the prime time show and it's the most popular mm-hmm. right now on, on on indian radio stations which i enjoyed choreographing uh it didn't do too well though it's a film called holiday okay i rehearsed for that film for 9 months wow with dino moria wow. and that time smiley suri and later on anjali nayar and i had a blast uh, doing that uh, choreography but the film of course didn't do too well but i think okay. when you put so much of sweat into something you will always remember it nine months is, is not a it's a lot of it's like almost a year months. yeah and it was real uh, hard work by the artists and of course by us as choreographers and i think it was something i really enjoyed doing but in terms of artists who i loved working with there are two yes. of them i would say priyanka chopra skoi bas koi samjhe sara tin ka tin ka zara zara Okay. She is brilliant, brilliant. I'm sure that's why I said Tinka. Tinka still haunts me at times. You know, it's like just amazing. Yeah, she's just fabulous. And amongst the men, it's Riti Roshan, undoubtedly. Of course, uh, yeah. He is uh, when you are when I'm choreographing for him or when I do work for him. Uh, you know, one has to really set go ahead of the own benchmarks that you're making. I remember doing the song for him called Fire from this film called Kites. And then mm. he even got nomination for the screen awards and um when later I worked with him again I had to think okay now I have done Fire I need to go Uh, you have to know, raise the bar that, yeah which is quite tough so i think an artist like him challenges your own creativity challenges your own imagination and so that you can go completely berserk and at the same time he adds more value to what you provide to him so i think mm-hmm. all this uh, makes you in, uh, you know want to do something for an artist like him so ji we were judging one show in fact in dubai we were doing mm-hmm. the khlaja um, Yes, I was coming to that. Yes. Yeah. So, so Saroj ji and we were judging that season of Jalal Dikhlaj and UAE, and we were flying from Bombay to uh, Dubai, and uh, <laughs> I had a lovely conversation with her, and she said a very beautiful thing to me, which I will never forget. Now she's no more, but something I will always remember uh, my my few hours of flight with her, and she said, as choreographers, we are sitting in one uh, uh, on one chair. Hmm. people will come actors actresses will come they will go new ones will come new ones will go bilkul sit kursi Bilkul-bil. pe baithe rehte hain so hame us kursi ka ghamand nahi hona chahiye so people who will go up will also come down and you will be still sitting in the middle watching you actually see them grow or or to bit come down that's so true aur aap wahi pe hain aayega har koi jayega because they are the stars सूरज जो है और तारे जो है हमेशा चमकते नहीं है बट जो कोरियोग्राफर होगा या मेकअप आर्टिस्ट होगा या डिजाइनर होगा वो वहीं पे हमेशा रहेगा तो स्टैनली टोंग सर हु वाज डायरेक्टर ऑफ द फिल्म हैड कॉल्ड एंड स्पोकन टू मी अबाउट व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड बाबी वाज द प्रोड्यूसर ऑफ द ऑफ द फिल्म एंड वी ऑल मेट एंड दे सेड दिस इज व्हाट वी वांट टू डू द शूटिंग वाज इन हंपी and they said would you please come and choreograph and so i said okay we'll do it what who is it for so they were mm. not revealing to me who it was for so i was okay. like okay let them not tell me it's fine you know i'm a choreographer i just do what i'm supposed to do i'll do my work okay. so when i reached hampi i realized it was for for jackie chan and wow I was in shock <laughs> because i have always been watching so it as cool. well and you know yeah. it was it was it was one of the best experiences to work work with him and he uh, is so fluid with his hand actions because of his martial arts that there is not much to actually teach an artist like him hmm. and malika sharawat was opposite him in that film and yeah. we had this and he is a perfectionist 